Hello everyone, it's Maria Russell here with you today and I am back guest designing for Not Too Shabby. I am going to show you a process video for one of the cards that I have made today showcasing the new Woodland Buddies stamp set. I was supposed to join the YouTube hop last month but I wasn't able to because I was back home and my camera stand gave up on me. So this is the card that I'm making today. I will be stamping the images on Nina Solar White cardstock using the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink and it's Copic friendly. I'll be using that stamp set as well as the Happy Birthday Die by MFT stamps also available at Not Too Shabby. So I started out by stamping that on Nina Solar White with the jet black ink and I thought I was going to use the other images here but I decided to make a very simple card so I am just going to color the squirrel image using my Copic markers. <music> Since this stamp set does not come with any coordinating dies just yet, I am going to fussy cut the image and then I am going to die cut the happy birthday die by MFD stamps twice. The first cardstock there is really thick and then the second one is the Nina Solar White and then I will be coloring the happy birthday with my Copic markers to match my pattern paper. So I am going to use a couple of my Copics and I have some rainbow colors here and then I will just put my scrap paper so I can color the letters without damaging my mat. And then I'm going to start with purple and then pink and then I'm going to have red and then orange, yellow, green, blue and then I'll start with purple again. So here is what it looks like when it's all colored in and I really love how that turned out. I already have an A2 size card base here and I adhered a piece of pattern paper by Lawn Fawn and I also have a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock that I've already die cut using a die from my stash. I'm going to adhere this piece as my foreground to my card base. I will be using some craft foam from Michaels and the other side does not have any adhesive so I just use my Siron adhesive there to make it sticky and then the other side is already sticky so I will just adhere that to my card base. Mm -hmm. 
card a little bit more whimsical I decided to add a couple of the images from the stamp set the acorn and the little berries I am using the fog ink by Simon Says Dam and it kind of looks like watermarks so I really like how that turned out I'm just going to stamp those and then I am going to adhere the squirrel and then the card will be done <music> So here are the three cards that I have made today showcasing the Woodland Buddies stamp set by Not Too Shabby. I really love the other two cards that I have made as well. They are both woodland theme and I really love how they turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out this new stamp set now available at Not Too Shabby. My coupon code still works, so if you want to use that for 10% off your order, please give this a thumbs up if you like it. And thank you again for joining me. Happy crafting! <music>